going to be doing an online meeting where we're going to study how to make a vision board. Why is that? Because everything that I put in my vision board over 10 years ago came true except for one thing. The person that I built it with is no longer in marriage with myself. I went through a depression. It was very rough. However, I knew that God had something better for me, that he had his ultimate wisdom to start over and, and begin my life. And at the time, I thought that it was with this person. I adored him. I loved him. Unfortunately, every single little tiny thing that I ever did wrong was thrown to my face and it was very difficult for me to overcome anything that had to do with losing this person in my life. However, I knew that God had a huge purpose. I knew that there was a God, therefore I was an agnostic. I did not know that my life was going to change so radically. Why do I say this? Because I thought I had been saved. My father himself was a pastor, a level five out of, out of five leader. And to be honest, at the time I had absolutely no idea of how to do anything with leadership because he actually passed away right before the pandemic. And so if you have lost family members or anybody in your life because of this horrible situation that we lived in, I completely understand you. In fact, my family lost about 11 uncles and aunts. It was brutal. I even have a cousin that just up and moved to uh, Japan. Crazy, right? But however, I knew that God had something more for myself, for my family, for my daughter, for my husband. Um, I did remarry a couple of years later, and it was honestly very, very hard for me to even think about moving on because I thought that you only get married once, you only do this once. And so I realized that I had to change the way that I thought to be able to become somebody better and ultimately bring my family the life that they deserved. And so at the time, I was a nurse, I was a hospice nurse. Before that, I was a psych nurse. And through the pandemic, I did work for six months because I felt a calling to serve in the oncology um, ward. And because of this reason, later on, I started realizing that I didn't want to continue to work for the rest of my life, that these people were right. And if I had done it once, I could do it again. And that is the beauty of having people that that are loving, that are a support system, that are gonna back you up no matter what. And so back then, I, did, I had a burning desire to be home with my family. I knew that there was a way to be able to do it, but I didn't know if I could do it. I had no idea that I myself had been given this amazing gift of potentially teaching others how to be free, how to live a life free of regret. And so I wanted to talk to you about